What's up guys, welcome to Poor Man Mods. If you have a Subaru Legacy, you know that the rear end sags. Uh, for whatever reason, it's a Legacy problem. I don't think the Outbacks have the problem, and I know that WRX doesn't have the problem, but for some reason, the factory suspension on the Legacy, the rear looks to be about an inch lower, and I cannot stand the way it looks. I hate squat. I like front rake when the front is lower than the rear, but I can't stand squatting. So today we're gonna be installing <laughs> They're actually called saggy butt spacers. So we're gonna be installing saggy butt spacers or a leveling kit on my Legacy here. I have half inch spacers, which should make it level. It might still have a slight squat, but it's not gonna be as bad. So we're gonna get a before and after measurement and then get these things installed. All right, so our front ride height is just about 26, 26 and a quarter inches. And the rear ride height, 25 and a half, so we're about three quarters of an inch lower. I have half inch spacers, so this is gonna make it super close, but not perfectly level. The first thing we're gonna do is disconnect the two nuts on top of the strut. You wanna take out the trunk liner and pull back the carpet on each side, and you'll see the two nuts on top of each strut. We're gonna pop them off. Let's get this wheel off. All right, find the strut and go to the very bottom and you'll find a bolt connecting it to the knuckle here. It's a 19 millimeter nut and bolt. Use the old impact. Get a bunch of dust in my eyes. That was a bit more difficult than I was expecting. Here's a little trick you can do to get a bolt out like this. We're gonna be loosening it with the gun and get your wrench and pry on it while you loosen. And just like that, she's out. Now the studs on top need to be removed because we're gonna be installing longer bolts. I have this strut just sitting on top of a vise. We're gonna hammer these studs out. All right, both of them are knocked loose. Now we're gonna compress the spring so we can remove them and install the new ones. All right, I have my spring compressors installed onto the spring. I'll have a link in the description if you need a set. And I'll tighten them down. Once you tighten the compressor on the spring, you'll be able to pull the spring down as well as the isolator. Then you can remove the factory studs. With this particular kit that I have, so it's to take their provided bolt, put one of their lock washers on it, slide that through the mount, just like that. Add another lock washer, then their nut. Use a 17 millimeter socket and a 14 millimeter wrench to tighten down the nut and bolt. Then the spacer just fits right over everything. The spacer is now installed and seated all the way. We're gonna loosen up our spring compressor and then reinstall it onto the car. Make sure that the spring is lined up with the perch before you loosen it. You want it to be nice and square on here. When you go to assemble this into the car, you wanna make sure that this hole for the bottom bolt is perpendicular to these bolts up here. If it's not, 
and this exact orientation, it will not line up when you go to install it. Okay? Okay. All right, this is probably gonna be pretty hard to show you, but you need to line the strut up with the two holes in the trunk first. Once you get it up, bring a jack underneath the shock, and you're gonna have to jack it up to line it up with this bolt hole right here. But before we do that, we're gonna get the two nuts installed up there so it doesn't fall out on us. Now you can attempt to jack it up and line up the bolt holes. Yeah, bitch. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. All right, do the same thing to the other side. Or maybe take a break, do the same thing to the other side, and then call it a morning because it's like 2 a.m. now. All right, we are done. The front was what, 26 and a quarter? And now the rear, 26 and a quarter. The car is level. Yes! All right, guys, I'm tired, I'm hot, even though it's like 30 degrees. I'm hot and sweaty and tired, it's like 2 a.m., but the car is finally done and it's finally level. I'm happy with the way it looks. I hated the squat before, and I know some people are thinking, well, why didn't you lower the front? Well, I know I've done a video before on lowering a Subaru on this channel, but if I actually had a religion, lowering a Subaru would be against my religion. I don't think it's right. I don't think any Subaru should be lowered. They should be stock ride height or lifted. Just not a fan of lowering Subarus. So, so I decided to lift the rear rather than lowering the front to make it level. Super happy with it. Give me a smidge more ground clearance. Not that I'm gonna really rally this thing, but I think it looks better. I'm super happy with it. It's actually not too bad to install this. I did the other side in 35 minutes. Really not that bad. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. I'll have links in the description down below if I can for all the parts and tools that you need for this. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.